uh, we get rains only during monsoon season that is 3 to 4 months and uh, the rain which comes in those 20 20 30 days the water has to be stored to be used throughout the year so it is a big challenge uh, the saving of water is very important our company has developed applications for various kinds of crops. Today, most of the farmers, they use flood irrigation. Whereas there are new techniques of irrigation systems where we can save water. And not land is irrigated, but the crop is irrigated. That is, water is given only to the root system uh, so that it is more efficiently used. And that is through drip irrigation system. The water is allowed to pass or conveyed through piping system and drop by drop it is allowed to release or get released at the root zone of the plant and it is released as per the requirement of the plant. Whenever they, the plant wants you can just give the water. Like we drink water when we are thirsty. So same way the plants they require water and the water is released as per the requirement of the plant and that gives more efficiency to the water. Uh, when you think of paddy, you think of stagnated water and paddy growing in it. But actually paddy doesn't require so much of water. Or sugar cane, it doesn't require so much of water which is given today. But if you use through drip irrigation, we can save 60% water. And you don't require to flood it. And not only the water is saved, but there is a growth of the crop in a proper way. Because the plant gets water when it is needed, it grows better. And you can also give fertilizers through water. So there is an increase in productivity of 25 to 30 percent in case of paddy or even 50 to 60 percent increase in yield in sugarcane. But the water requirement is reduced to less than 50 percent. And not only that, the same field if it requires 6 to 7 hours to irrigate by flood irrigation, by drip irrigation you can achieve it in 1 or 2 hours. So less energy is required. On an average you can say about anywhere between 500 to 700 dollars per acre is the initial investment. And if we follow a proper cropping pattern, the uh, payback period for this amount is hardly one or two cropping seasons. But that is a lot of money for small farmers. Yeah. In India, uh, government of India uh, is giving 50% subsidy to uh, small farmers. Uh, company has extended uh, a loan scheme for the farmers and uh, farmer can use 50% his contribution through that loan and we also uh, give him market intervention. We buy produce from him so, for food processing and export. So we add value to his crop and we pass on a lot of advantages to the farmer. He gets assured market of his produce. We get good quality material. We do a lot of extension work with him. We teach him how to grow crop. And because of this, his productivity increases. And uh, because we have given him loan for buying our irrigation system, we can recover our loan through you know buying his produce uh, year on year. So from that point of view, he is also a winner in the system and we also get a business. So it is a win-win situation for both farmer as well as our company. When you say farmer, do you think of a man or a woman? No, we consider both actually. And our studies have shown that when we give capacity building programs to uh, farming community, if both the couple, husband and wife, uh, they come for the capacity building programs, we find that women are better uh, responsive and responsible uh, in the affairs of absorbing new technology. So we, we uh, value a lot for the women farmer because uh, we find that women farmers uh, they are more serious in learning as compared to men. And how about motivation? Is it difficult to motivate? Initially it was really difficult because nobody believed that drop by drop you can grow the crop. But uh, when we demonstrated them and uh, when other farmers saw some of the farmers uh, you know reaping the benefit of uh, proper irrigation and agronomy then they started coming to us and today we are training and motivating something like 40 to 50 thousand farmers coming to our demonstration centers at our headquarters every year 
we uh, give them uh, food we give them travel cost and they stay with us for a couple of days they see all the technology which we have been using and then our extension workers uh, numbering more than 1000 they go to various uh, farmers they uh, do hand holding throughout the cropping season and they are getting motivated we are interacting with uh, about 1.2 million farmers in india not only for irrigation purposes but also we uh, interact with them for several other agri inputs like we provide farmers with tissue culture plants like banana tissue culture pomegranate tissue culture uh, onion seed which is high yielding seed uh, we also provide him greenhouse technology shed net cultivation of vegetables uh, we also give him agronomic support for uh, say uh, ultra high density plantation of fruit crops so several kinds of technologies which have been developed by our company we extend to the farmers uh, so in all you can say about 1.2 million farmers uh, are working with jain irrigation out of which around 5,000 farmers are exclusively working for supply of onion for our dehydration factory. And there are other, uh, say about 20,000 farmers presently working with us for supplying mango, for processing mango pulp by our company. So likewise, we interact for several agri inputs with farmers. They can get several kinds of agri inputs. They get knowledge, they get training, they see demonstrations. Uh, then the uh, hand holding is done by our extension workers throughout the crop season. We buy the crop from the farmers. So it is a complete value chain and the farmer interacts with our company throughout value chain. And because of this, uh, his confidence in our company is very great. We have, done, we have survey and uh, you know, economic survey of these farmers. Uh, independently done by other companies also and even by Harvard Business School, Tata Institute of Social Science, IFC of the World Bank. They have done independently case studies on our company and they have seen that uh, over a period of 10 to 12 years these farmers economic condition has improved, their social status has been improved, their children are getting better educated, their nutritional status has improved and you will find this on Harvard Business School case study on their website. <music>